So guys, I have some pretty exciting news. If you haven't seen the recent article talking about the spring patch, I'll leave a link in the description if you wish to read it. It talks about upcoming content that will be included in the spring patch that's due to arrive sometime, uh, I believe it's a later half of May. This update will include a weapon crate, to quote the article, that will contain five guns, but I'll talk more about that later in the video. There will also be a new game mode making its way over from BF3 called Gunmaster. I imagine like the winter patch will also contain lots of bug fixes and tweaks here and there to various aspects of the game. Like for example the new weapon damage model. At the moment I don't know too many details about it but it will be making its way over to CTA very soon. In fact I think it's uh, early next week. So it's more than enough time to test it out. I'll make sure I do a video about it as soon as possible. Anyway though, let's talk about the guns. I have to admit, even though I do think we have more than enough weapons in BF4, I'm pretty goddamn excited about getting my hands on some old favourites from previous Battlefield games, or even if they're just completely new to the franchise. If you haven't seen already, Triple JU has been rather busy on Twitter teasing us images of various weapons that will be included in this weapon crate. If you watched my last video, I showed you guys a first image, which is most likely the AN-94, as you can see here. I'll leave a link to that video in the description in case you didn't watch it. Like I said, there's been a few more teasers. The first one here, I originally thought maybe it's some kind of shotgun. The front iron sights kind of confused me a bit, but after some detective work by the good people on the BF4 Reddit page, it turns out this gun is most likely a rifle called the Tactical Marlin 1894 which, believe it or not, is a lever-action rifle, as we can see from this image here. We also have another image that Triple JU posted of just the lever section, so, as we can see, I'm pretty sure it's safe to say this weapon is confirmed, coming with the weapon pack. I'm pretty sure the whole lever-action weapon is a first in the franchise, and to be honest, even if its stats aren't that great, it's still pretty damn cool, really curious to see how it's going to work in the game. I'm guessing it might be a DMR, but some people are suggesting it will in fact be a shotgun. As for the second weapon, let's take a look at this first image here. As we can see, we have the iron sights down the bottom left. Some people suggested it's an AK of some kind, and possibly the AKS-74U, which does make somewhat sense, seeing as it's a fan favourite weapon, but it turns out it's most likely a rather somewhat ugly weapon called the OTS-14. I think that's a proper name for it which is a Russian ballpup assault rifle. We have two more images as well of this weapon from Triple JU. The one on the left side is the side view, obviously, and the one on the right side is a back end. And thanks to the people on the BF4 Reddit page, we have this really nice comparison here, comparing the side view shot with its real-life counterpart. As we can see, it's pretty much the same, so we can be fairly sure the OTS-14 is confirmed. As for the fourth weapon that's been teased, we have two images here, and it's already been identified as the L86A2, which was a magazine-fed LMG from Beer 3 and honestly, I wasn't expecting another LMG. And it seems like the whole main theme of this weapon pack is mainly guns from Beer 3 so I'm guessing the fifth and final weapon will also be from that game as well. But just to summarise the weapon pack teaser pictures over the past couple of days, seen as the OTS-14 is an assault rifle in real life, and we already have the AN-94 as the assault rifle, I imagine the OTS is going to be a carbine in the game, so that makes number one. Like I said, the AN-94 will be an assault rifle, so that's number two. The L86A2 will be an LMG, so that makes number three. And let's not forget about the tactical Marlin 1894 lever action rifle. They'll most likely be a DMR, but may also be a shotgun as well, so not entirely sure, but that makes number four. When I first heard about the weapon pack, I thought to myself it would probably contain a gun for each weapon category in BF4, but like the battle log article states, there'll only be five, so there's going to be a few weapon groups in the game that'll miss out. But overall, I'm extremely excited for the AN-94. I know a lot of players say that, but this weapon is so damn unique, and with its kind of hyperburst 1200 RPM radar fire, it was amazing in BF3. I just hope they copy over this mechanic, but making sure to keep it in line when it comes to balance so it won't be too overpowered. Also, at the start of the video, I talked about a new game mode coming over from BO3 called Gunmaster. This will involve the player needing to earn kills with a set of predetermined weapons using one weapon at a time, and pretty much all you need to do is kill enough players with that particular weapon, then move on to the next level and the next weapon. 
Honestly, this game mode, I didn't play too much in BF3. I rarely even saw it in the server list. But the times I did play, it was really goddamn enjoyable. So hopefully we'll see it pop up in different servers and not be a game mode that's forgotten. It kind of reminds me of the classic mode preset that came out a while ago. I don't think I've ever seen one server using this preset. I think the only time I see it is if I look on the American servers. I'm pretty sure there's one or two servers running at 24-7. And while on topic of content, there's some talk going around that we may see this spring patch content come in early next week or just parts of it that may or may not include the weapon pack. Of course, like Dice Alley announced a while ago, all future content for BF4 will come to CTA first before making its way over to retail. I just hope this time around the spring patch won't bring in any glitches or doesn't break anything like how the winter patch did. Either way, I'm really glad BF4 is getting so much love this year. I'm looking forward to what Dice LA have planned for us. Anyway guys, just a short video today. Let me know what gun would you like to see for the fifth and final weapon in the weapon pack. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.